Such a young man. Or just to hold it. <laughs> okay. okay. Five minutes. Five. My name is Keto Bailey. Keto Harwai Crumb C. Bailey. Judy and I had some things in common other than our long time relationship. We, we met in um, 1963. You can go ahead, count it out if you want. Um, we both were pledges at the Theta House at UNM. And we had transferred in from other universities, and we became quick friends. And we were roommates for two of the three years before graduation. And Judy, Judy used to talk about, to the end, life presents. Figure that out. It's whatever you want to make of it, but life presents. It's the good, it's the bad, it's the ugly, it's the wonderful. And we are what we are through all of the trials and tribulations through life. And I know at the end, and we, I live in Taos half the time, and we'd get together when I would be in Taos. We'd have lunch. and. She was so happy and content in her life with Lee, who loved her unconditionally for who she was, and she was unique. She was everybody's best friend that knew her. She was wise and caring and, and loving and giving. My God, she was an angel, and I believe that because her life was cut so short, but she touched every one of us in a way that we will always remember, we will always rejoice in the fact that we knew Judy Putman Epstein Mc McCutcheon, <laughs> Dirks, <laughs> and damn, she had as many names as I. <laughs> and we kidded about that, but you know, sometimes God has a, a God has a, a mission for us in life, and different roles for us to p play, and He gives us so much, and maybe the best is at the end, and. And um, <laughs> she was unique and an angel. And her kids, my God, I mean, how could they be any more perfect? And the grandchildren, for God's sakes, how could anybody have such incredible kids and grandkids? I mean, anyway, I, as all of you here, she had my multitude of friends. Thousands, no doubt, like somebody said earlier, of the life she's touched. And we all loved her and for whatever reasons, but damn, she made an impact. And I am grateful to be here tonight. And thank you, Stacy and Barry, for having this occasion and inviting us and and to celebrate because I know she did not want a big deal made. You know, I know. <laughs> so after the fact, here we are, loving her and caring for her and rejoicing in the fact that she was in our lives. Thank you.